Hello, so this is going to be my first voiceover tutorial and a lot of people have been asking me to do a tutorial on how to get nice line art in Coral Painter Essentials 4 and it's not a tricky of a thing but I can understand why people are having issues with it. So first we're going to create a new canvas and when you're doing line art you usually want to have a pretty big canvas because it just makes the lines smoother and yeah, that's that's always good. You want three lines. Alright, so first what we're going to start off with is tools to use and what types of line art they're good for. Um, if you're going for the average kind of chunky, very variated lines like in cheese or whatever, <laughs> that's a fail attempt at base, but that type of thing. See like this, uh, <laughs> uh, then you usually want to stick with the sketchboard tool because you can create nice varied lines. They usually have a smaller tip at the end, you can see the pressure sensitivity is really, really, um, it's very sensitive to pressure basically. So it's almost like you're using an ink brush or something like that. And you can create very nice lines and this can become a highway, you can have tree, oh, right. You can have trees and okay so that was a lovely trick by the way um so that's what you can do with that tool and of course use it at a smaller size probably, so you don't have awkward trees see it's very nice it's very the lines connect well and i absolutely love this tool but on some occasions you want to have soft line art so there are two tools which i find to be very good with this. One of these is obviously the 2B pencil. Everyone uses the 2B pencil. And so I find this tool is very good for black line art. However, sometimes when I'm trying to do colored line art, I have an issue where the um, the contrast, I guess, or the lines come out very saturated. And I really don't like my line art saturated. I like it more on the dark side. So usually if I want to do colored line art, I'll stick to the sketchboard tool. Or I'll use this other tool, which I'm about to show you, which is the basic round watercolor brush. And normally, I just use this brush to color, like skin and stuff and all that. But it also works well for um, a liner brush if you know how to use it. So first thing to always do when you're using pretty much any watercolor watercolor tool for liner is to create a new layer, and then you want to set this layer to watercolor mode. And this is pretty much the equivalent of uh, multiply in most other programs. And basically what you do this is before you draw anything on this layer, you just hit it with the eraser and then it'll become a watercolor layer. And as you see, this little box here will turn red. But if you don't do it on the first try, then you cannot change the layer to a watercolor layer. Which, and you, I, as far as I know, there is no way you can change a watercolor layer to a normal layer. So you can only do it once, you can only change it once. So then next what we're going to do is we're going to take the basic round tool and we're going to draw with it. And you can make really nice soft lines, this is definitely the best thing for soft lines I'd say. And ignore the crappy attempts at drawing crap, I, I don't want to spend too much time on that because it's not important. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's basically what you can do with this tool. And the reason why you want to set it to a watercolor layer is because, say, the coloring that's going to be underneath your line art is really, really dark. So let's make this a dark color and let's keep the paint bucket torch. Yay, that's not as dark as I wanted it. Sorry. If you have it on a watercolor layer, the second you put this brush on it, it'll automatically make the color it's, it's, it's a multiply layer, basically it just multiplies to the layer under it. However, if you have a normal layer, then you get this awkward white thing going on. And I, as you can see, I'm still using the same color and everything. It's just that since this is on, on this, is, this layer is not set to multiply, you won't be able to see anything well. So pink works okay, but you have the awkward white line thing. And there's a reason for that, and because I'm good at explaining things, I'm not going to take the time to explain it because you don't really need to know. Just know that this is what's going to happen. 
if um, you do it on the second layer. Okay, so one of the main issues with Coral Painter Essentials is whenever you are at certain zoom levels, you get this awkward pixelated effect. And if you've ever used this and tried to do line art on it, you know what I'm talking about. And that's the best way I can explain it. But basically, your line art looks really pixelated. You can see all the jagged edges and all that. It doesn't look smooth at all. So, what we're going to do is we're going to draw another tree. Why? Because trees are easy to draw. And I'm not going to even try on this. <laughs> it's a beautiful tree. Don't judge it. Okay. So, now that we have our beautiful tree, let's give it some awkwardly large grass. Yeah. Flower. Yay! Flower. Okay, now that we have our beautiful tree, we can, as you can see, the line art looks very pixelated. The edges are jagged. It looks like crap. I want to redo it all. I'm just going to paint. No line art. Screw line art. No, don't worry. If you... You can see what your line art actually looks like if you save this picture as a JPEG so you can open it up in any other program and save it. Oh, uh, okay, that was from a previous attempt at this tutorial, which I failed. Uh, okay. And then just hit OK unless you want to change the quality, which there's no point. And so then just set up any other program. I'm going to use paint and open it. I don't know, the recording screen's on. Okay, there we go. Uh, open. And then we go into the owls because this is alphabetically arranged. I think I missed the owls. Where is it? I keep on missing it. There we go. Wait, wait, wait for it. Oh, my heart is beautiful now, it's not pixelated anymore. Aww, isn't that amazing? And as you can tell, I have very wobbly lines, that's because I wasn't trying. Let's ignore that. Okay, so now that we have that part done, we're going to go back into Coral Painter Essentials, and I'm going to give you one more tip on how to get to amazing line art. Because I can't. If you go to, I believe it's edit, and brush tracking, and you'll have a scratch pad here, and you can just basically draw on it with your tablet. What I would advise you doing is draw on it like really hard. Don't break your tablet or anything, but just draw on it, push your pen down hard and draw on it. And so then hit OK, and this will make it so your lines are less variable and less responsive to pressure. And why is this good? Because then you get smoother lines and you have less of the um, like awkward clump in the middle type thing. Unless you like awkward clumps in the middle, then don't don't listen to what I'm saying now. And then this can be a bridge, a river. I use the awkward clump in the middle to my advantage. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm being inquisitive now. So that's basically all I have to say for now, I'm pretty sure. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section and I will answer them probably. And this is a really pretty thing. <laughs> yes, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. I will answer. If you loved my tree drawing, then give this video a like because tree drawings are amazing. Alright, okay, so I guess that's all. Bye!